All right. Good morning. Um, today we are lucky to have uh, Jennifer Sink, the Associate Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences at uh, Davidson uh, Community College, and she is going to um, discuss with us all the great options at the College Transfer Pathway. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to learn a little bit more about Davidson County Community College and one of our many programs that we have. And so I'm going to talk today about college transfer. And so just so you have a, a, an idea kind of of what we're talking about with college transfer, you know, what we're thinking about is if you're interested in eventually getting a bachelor's degree, then a transfer pathway is a good option for you. So we have two options out there. We have an associate arts and an associate in science degree. And so, you know, based on the names, it kind of gives you an idea of what you're going to be pursuing. But the associate in science is going to be better for students that are thinking about pursuing a math or science field. And then associate in arts is more for those that are going to pursue something like, you know, art, music, history, psychology, sociology, et cetera. But both of these pathways, they have a lot of courses that are similar, but then of course with the science when you're going to take more math and science, whereas the arts will take more art classes. So these are really good options. Now, because we're a community college, we are way more affordable than most of your four year institutions. And so I'll talk about that here in just a minute. I'll show you a slide of a cost comparison. So some advantage of our college transfer program, well, as you all know, we're just a few miles from Lexington High School. So we are close. We're pretty much in your backyard. So for those of you that feel like, I'm not sure I'm ready to go off to a four-year school and live in a dorm and spend all that money on tuition and also room and board, this will be a great option for you because we're close by. We have lower tuition costs. Once you finish your associate in arts or associate in science degree, you can transfer to the four year school of your choice. And that would allow you to pursue whatever bachelor four year degree that you're thinking about, whether it be chemistry, history, you know, sociology, any of those. As I mentioned, we're in your backyard, so we're not far away. We have lots of types of uh, scheduling options. So we have online courses, we have night courses or evening courses, we have daytime courses. And because of the coronavirus, we're actually gonna be scheduling more virtual courses where you can join using Zoom or a similar platform like we're using right now. And also, you know, you think about a two year school and we have a pretty small campus. It's not like going to NC State or UNC Chapel Hill and you're walking onto campus with tens of thousands of other students. You know, we are very student focused. We want to make sure our students have the resources they need. So this slide talks about the transfer agreement. It's called the Comprehensive Articulation Agreement. And I'm not going to talk too much about that because honestly, it's kind of boring <laughs> unless you're in our education job that I'm in and we have to deal with it. But it basically just tells you that you will be accepted into one of the 16 UNC institutions after you complete your two-year degree with us, either the Associate in Arts or Associate in Science, and you'll transfer in as a junior. This slide just builds more on that as far as that admissions process. And like I said, I'm not gonna spend too much time going over that because it's just kind of higher education jargon. Um, just to show you on the slide here, these are our four-year schools that all community colleges in the state of North Carolina that we partner with. Now, all of these are public universities. So you're not going to see Wake Forest, for example, Catawba on this list because we're just looking at the public schools. So if you complete the Associate in Arts or the Associate in Science and you have at least a 2.0 GPA, you're going to be guaranteed admission into at least one of these four-year schools or universities to pursue your bachelor's degree. Now, we also have agreements with some of the private colleges that are in North Carolina, and that's just kind of a list of the ones that are also going to give you credit for your associate in arts or associate in science. But something to keep in mind that I always tell students is you have to think about how much money am I willing to spend on my bachelor's degree because if you finish four years of school and you owe 120 to 150 thousand dollars that's a house that's a lot of money so you really want to find you know i hate to say the most bang for your buck but you really want to find something that's going to meet your needs but also be an affordable option miss miss uh, yes 
Um, uh, you were just talking about um, transferring to other schools. Um, I don't know if you are aware, but last year I had a student that got um, his two-year degree while he was um, still in high school, and he was able to transfer the full two-year degree to UNLV. Oh, okay. Yep, they accepted it too, so. Um, good, good. Yeah, I mean, we'll hear certain situations like that where students do receive full credit for their two-year degree, so that's that's awesome, especially considering he was graduating high school with his two year degree. That's that's definitely impressive. Yeah. It, and I, I, I'm just saying that because, you know, uh, DCCC education, it, it really can go a long way. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, you know, something you have to think about, too, your first two years at a community college, they actually mirror your first two years at a four year institution. So pretty much no matter what you decide you want to pursue as far as degree or career, you know, you're still going to have to take English part one, English part two, you know, psychology, sociology, math, and some science courses. So your first two years are pretty much the same, regardless if you go to a community college or go straight to a four-year school. And as I mentioned before, you can really save some money if you think about attending a community college. So this, these numbers are approximate. But you can see with DCCC, for two years, your cost and tuition right there, $5,173. And I know it's still a pretty good chunk of change, but that's two years of your four-year college degree. So that's huge. Now, when you look down to Wake Forest, that one kind of causes me to have chest pains. <laughs> but Wake Forest, you can see there, $110,000. And that's just for two years. So imagine you'd be doubling that for four years. And that's also not counting room and board. So if you want to live on campus and have a meal plan, you're looking at more than just $110,000. NC State, $18,000. But once again, you have to add room and board to that one because I don't think anybody wants to drive to Raleigh and back every single day of the week to go to college. And there's some more options that are on there as well. So an advantage or some advantages of going to Davidson County Community College or even another community college is we, are, we have friendly faculty and staff. And I didn't really introduce myself when I first started, so I apologize for that. But I just wanted to say that I am from Davidson County. This is where I grew up. I actually live seven minutes down the highway here. And so I feel like this is my community and I'm proud to be part of this community and to work at this college because I really think that we've got a great group of faculty and staff. We're all here to help our students out as much as possible. For the most part, we have small classes and I went to NC State when I first graduated high school and I look back on that and honestly, I wish I would have started here. I feel like my grades would have been higher. I access to more supports and more resources that I didn't have at the large four-year school. I'll never forget walking into my freshman biology class and there were 400 people in there. So as you can imagine, that's a little bit intimidating, especially coming from Davidson County, you know, walking into 400 students. So most of our classes are usually capped or usually have no more than, you know, 24 to maybe 48 students in that class. We also have a lot of clubs and organizations for students to get involved in. And especially if you're thinking about pursuing that bachelor's degree, it's always good to get involved. Find a club that you're interested in. And if there's not a club, start your own club that you're interested in because it shows leadership skills and also helps set you apart from other applicants. We also have an awesome international program that allows students to do things like study abroad. As of right now, we have Japan and England that are scheduled for 2021, assuming that the coronavirus doesn't <laughs> impact that as well. Hopefully it doesn't. We also have a lot of student support services. We have a TRIO program that's geared toward supporting first generation college students. We have Single Stop and it helps with things like, you know, finding community resources and benefits to help students that need help with childcare you know, or we also have a food pantry on campus. So we have lots of resources here that try to help our students as much as possible. So the next thing I have here on this slide is just going over some of your next steps. So if you're interested in pursuing, you know, the associate arts or associate in science, or even if you're interested in nursing or welding or electronics engineering technology, these are your steps that you can follow. They're also outlined on our website, but if you go to our website, davidsonccc.edu slash apply now, 
it'll give you your steps there also. So you can see those. And this slide is kind of some just general contact information. Um, as I mentioned, my name is Jennifer Sink, so I'm the person here at the bottom as far as contact information, but I'm happy to help you. If you wanna write my email address or my phone number down, if you have questions, I'm definitely happy to address anything that I can you know, to help you. And I'm hoping y'all have some questions. I usually do. <laughs> You guys can unmute or you can put them in the chat, whatever you want to do. I'm kind of curious to hear. I know we have a few students in here. I mean, if they're willing, can they unmute and maybe kind of say what they're thinking about eventually doing or pursuing for a career? Yeah, go ahead, guys. They're awful quiet today. I know. Well, I mean, that sounds interesting, but my um, my goal after high school is to go into like the law enforcement type area and become okay. a lawyer or a detective or something like with those. Kids. Okay, good, good. And I know you also mentioned, I think, uh, Naomi, you said you're working at McDonald's, correct? Yeah, and I did. I actually did a pathway at DCCC because I went the Valley, so. Okay, and good. Back. And I did the um, digital media pathway. Good, good. So if you're interested in law enforcement, a lot of those students will start out doing our basic law enforcement training program. And that's kind of your you know, introduction into that field. So that's something you, you might want to start thinking about. I know you said you're a senior as well. So yes, time to start thinking about next steps, isn't it? Yes, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of different ways to get there. Yes. I'm hopefully going to, I want to start at DCCC because I, I, somebody told me they didn't have anything. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just go straight to a four year. Well, since y'all had that, I might start off there and transfer to Western. That's my, my college where I'm supposed to go. Okay, good. Yeah. I mean, really anything that you decide you want to do, especially for a bachelor's degree, our transfer programs can definitely set you up for that. And, you know, as I mentioned, it really is a big cost saver because we're just a few miles from your high school. You know, we have small classes, very similar to, you know, what you're experiencing at high school and you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention and it really helps get you ready to go off to that four-year school to finish your junior and senior years there. So I think it's definitely an awesome opportunity. All right, thank you. Yeah. We also had a question in the chat. Um, one of the students, it was Tay Tay, um, asked, um, she doesn't really know what um, doesn't really know what they want to do yet. Okay, so we actually have something, and um, if we can give her my email address too, if she wants to send me an email, that would be great because I can find. We have a career services part on our website. I haven't looked at it in the past few months, but we used to have like a career inventory test that students can take. And when students do that, you answer some questions based on what you're interested in. And then it'll give you some career ideas. You might say, okay, because you like these things, these career options might be good for you. And I'm kind of curious, Tay Tay, are you leaning towards anything? Like, for example, are you leaning more towards a medical career or are you leaning more towards something more hands-on or, or if you're, you know, if you have any interests like high school classes that you enjoy? Uh, I'm just now a freshman, so I really, okay. really don't know what to do yet. Um, okay. I look up to my big sister and see what she do and see how like what she doing and stuff. To, um, uh -huh. Give me some idea. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely good to talk to people about what they're doing. And because you're a freshman, you know, you've got plenty of time to start thinking about what am I interested in? You know, do I like math? Do I like science? Or do I, you know, enjoy history, whatever it may be. But, you know, Mr. Tongle and I can both agree that you want to have a job that you actually look forward to going to. So you have to think about what's going to make you happy in the long run. You know, is it a preschool teacher or is it teaching high school? There's a lot of career options out there. And uh, Mr. Tongle, is it okay if I mention Career and College Promise? Oh, yeah, go right ahead. Okay. So for those of you, I know all of you guys are in high school, but especially those of you that are still your freshman, sophomore year, and it's really not too late for those of you that are past that point, we have a Career and College Pro Promise program. We call it CCP for short. But it allows high school students that meet certain criteria 
to go ahead and start taking college courses and you can take them as tuition free. And you can take things like some of your, what we call general education classes, like your English, like your psychology, math and biology and so on. Or some students choose to do a specific pathway that already have classes kind of, you know, laid out for you. But that's a really good option or an opportunity for high school students to take advantage of while you're in high school. And, and Tay Tay kind of speaking about that, it also helps you kind of figure out what you may want to do if you can take some of those classes while you're still in high school. Yeah, and definitely um, tuning in to uh, career chats like this and, um, and you know, just there's every opportunity y'all can. It really helps out to um, figure out where you're going in your life. Yeah, and I want to add, too, because, you know, when I was growing up and Mr. Tongle, it might kind of have been the same thing for you. I, we kind of thought we had to get a bachelor's degree. At least I did. And now I'm kind of, I don't want to say I'm smacking myself, but I'm kind of smacking myself some days because there's some really awesome opportunities with a lot of our two-year degrees, you know, and even some more short-term training that's just one year, for example. So don't feel like I have to go get a bachelor's degree. I mean, if you want one, that's what you want to do. It's great, but we have some awesome medical programs. We have welding. We have computer integrated machining. We have electronics engineering technology. We have lots of options out there where you can actually finish some of those degrees and you can make more money with that than you would with a bachelor's degree. So you definitely wanna think about how long am I willing to go to school? How much money am I wanting to put into it? What are my career goals? That's good advice. I, I try to tell kids that all the time. Um, yeah. You can't do our jobs without a four-year degree, um, but it's funny because our jobs, um, we're trying to convince uh, kids to uh, save money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, any more questions, guys? All right, those were good questions. And they were. Uh, I'm sure you'll have more later on. And um, feel free to email me or uh, Miss Sink. Yeah. And we can help you out and spread the word to your friends um, because uh, we, uh, we definitely want to uh, increase our enrollment uh, with DCCC. Yeah, and Mr. Tungle, just so you're aware too, I'm also happy to come to Lexington anytime. I've, I've done it before in the past. It's been a few years, but there was a couple of times where I'd come and set up in the hallway and just talk to students as they were walking by. So if I can ever come to your campus to be there, you know, for students that have questions about, you know, college transfer or really any program, I'm happy to do that. Okay, great. Yeah, we will definitely, um, especially um, when we can get everybody back to school. <laughs> We will definitely take advantage of that offer. <laughs> that sounds good. I think everybody will want to uh, um, have some personal contact. I know it's going to be nice. <laughs> so, um, well, um, I think uh, if, if you want to, can you want to transition to the zoo and aquarium science program? Sure. Yeah. Give me just one second here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to have two separate videos. So like somewhere in this little transition. So if you just want to start over, um, and tell who you are and um, <laughs> okay. which I didn't do a good job of the first time. <laughs> oh, I think you did a great job. I, I got so excited about college transfer. <laughs> yep. All right, let's see. Make sure I got my. I got one question. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I want to go to nursing route. How does that go? Because for right now, I'm a junior and um, right now I'm taking my nursing courses. Right now, right now, I think I'm in health science one. Okay, and I'm assuming the health science one class is a class you're taking at Lexington, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so a couple of routes you could go. Um, you could start taking some of your courses that are required for the nursing program while you're still in high school. If you feel like that's something you can fit into your schedule and you do meet the criteria to be able to do that, but some students decide to go ahead, oops, sorry about that. Some students decide to go ahead and take classes like English 111, that's something you have to have for nursing, psychology 150, 
um, bio 168 and 169, which is your anatomy and physiology part one and part two. And there's some other classes as well that you could start on while you're in high school if you're interested. Now, if you're also, you know, of course you're in school, in school now, but if you're doing that plus a job and you've got a lot going on, you might just wanna focus on your high school grades right now and then pick up college courses once you finish. It's kind of up to you. Are you leaning more towards, you know, wait until you're done with high school to start or are you thinking you may start now? I want to start now. I'm still debating because I'm trying to go into the Army. Okay. So are you thinking you're going to do nursing first, then go into the Army, or are you going to go into the Army and then pursue nursing? I'm trying to do nursing in the Army. Okay. No, yes, I have yeah, so Mr. Tongle sent you a message about that. He can help kind of see if you qualify for a career and college promise program, but that's something. You said you're a junior, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I would definitely try to take advantage of taking some courses under the Career and College Promise program because, as I mentioned, you know, that's free tuition. It's a great opportunity for you to get some college courses under your belt. And that's going to be true whether you decide to go the Army route first or pursue nursing first. Some of those classes like English and psychology, you're going to have to have no matter what degree you choose to pursue. So I would really recommend trying to take advantage of the Career and College Promise program while you're in high school. Because all that will transfer um, transfer over, like if you're using the GI Bill to get your nursing degree later on. And another thing I might want, I need to bring up is um, they also offer through Career, career and College Promise the um, Nurse Aid Program, um, which is usually a requirement for most nursing um, mm -hmm. nursing programs that you become a nurse aid certified nurse aid first. So um, we could definitely probably squeeze that in your senior year um, if you'd like to do that. So um, yes, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love, love the enthusiasm. <laughs> it's, it's crazy because I never thought of me trying to be a nurse for real. Because when I was younger, like I always had this big thing, like I want to be a dancer. I want to be a dancer. I want to do ballet. Da, da, da. And then my grandma was like, because my grandma is a nurse, and she was like, I really want you to be a nurse. And I was like, nah, I don't want that. But then my great grandma, she had problems because she couldn't walk or anything like that. So I had to take her, her in my hands and I had to, you know, help her out and stuff like that. And I really started to like it. So I was like, I think I want to go the nursing route. So it's That's crazy. Right I really wanted to do it. And at first I wanted to be a dancer. Sounds like you have a calling for it. And that's, that's, yes. that's how it'll be fulfilling if that's what it is. So yes, yeah, I love helping people. Good. And if you can fit that nursing assistant, like Mr. Tongle is talking about, if you can fit that into your senior year, you can actually get a job working as a nursing assistant. You know, a lot of, a lot of our students will start off working at an assisted living facility. Sometimes they'll do like, you know, uh, home health programs and stuff, but you can, you know, start working in that field, get your foot in the door, you know, and that way when you finish nursing school, it'll help you find a position if you've got, you know, your resume built up to where you've worked in the medical field. All right, does anybody else have any questions? We'll, we'll transition over to um, zoo and aquarium science. That was great. All right. Okay, you ready? Yeah, whenever you're ready, Miss Saint. All right. <laughs> 